Hello, I'm Dominic Murphy from BM and Co, and this week I'm bringing you week 16 of How's the Solihull Property Market Dom? A question that I am asked day in, day out. So I utilize the access that we have to whole of market data via Rightmove and give a transparent overview across the post se postcode sectors that we operate in as a business. We're not limited to selling or renting in these areas, but it is where 80% of our business is conducted. And these postcodes are B from B28, B90 through to B95. So what are we seeing in the local Solihull property market this week? Having caught up with the sales teams here at DM Co, it is evident that the Easter break and respective holidays have had a knock-on effect on business. We have seen fewer sales agreed over the last couple of weeks, somewhat expected, but that doesn't mean properties are not selling. But they are difficult to sell when buyers and sellers are on holiday. The market has seen 91 new instructions come to market. It's had 78 sales agreed and 42 price reductions have taken place. Now, let me talk about the pricing of those 42 reductions. Two agents have had average price reductions of just short of 6%. How wrong did those agents get the price of your property first time round? 6% on a 500k property is 30 grand wrong. That 500k property is now listed at 470,000. There is a huge knock on effect to getting prices wrong when taking properties to market. 50% of the 42 properties have had an average price adjustment of 3.8%. That would take a £500,000 house down to £481,000 and a £300,000 house down to £289,000. Please, 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 when marketing or taking your property to market, don't just go with the agent that tells you that your house is worth the most or incidentally charges you the least fee. The very likelihood is that they're just trying to secure your business and not doing what's best for your property. What have we at DM & Co seen this week by way of new buyers and tenants registering with the business? 58 new buyers, 37 sales meetings uh, or valuations, 133 viewings and nine sales agreed. In lettings, we've had 43, 43 new tenants and six properties have been moved into. I'm now gonna look at the questions that have been posed this week. Uh, three questions with my answers to follow. So the first one is from Matthew, who asks, should I wait for interest rates to go down? Um, well, interest rates are coming down, although that is not reported in the media quite as often as uh, the doom and gloom of the Bank of England base rates likely increase. Virgin Money this week has, re uh, has released a 3.79% product. Now, here we are in April of 2023. Back in October, I, I, uh, I took a mortgage out for a five-year fix at 3.5%. So not too dissimilar to how things were six or seven months ago. Will they come down further? Who knows? Um, but there is pressure on the mortgage market to see further reductions in the interest rates being offered. Um, I do I do expect the base of England rate to rise at the next Bank of England meeting. Um, how high will it go? I think it could go as high as 5%, not in this jump, but I, I would certainly expect another uh, quarter of a percent increase. Do, 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 do. Right, secondly, sorry, my paperwork isn't quite as neat this week. The second question is from Kate. Kate asks, is spring typically still a good time to sell? Well, I think we're back to um, a seasonal market, really. Transactions have fallen across the UK, and we too are feeling that in the local solihull property market. Sales agreed are down year on year, but of course that had to be expected. And we're now at the sort of pre-pandemic 2019 um, market conditions. Um, if your pricing is not ambitious, then you will sell at any time of the year. Typically, that pool is larger in spring, but then of course there are also more properties to choose from. So to summarise, is time a good is spring a good time to sell? Absolutely. Um, and we are seeing evidence of plenty of people coming to market and looking to sell. The final question is from Steve. Uh, Steve asks or says, I'm struggling to sell my property. 
Uh, it's been on the market for a couple of months and after a few viewings, I'm not getting many people through the door. Should I change agent? Well, um, there can be a number of reasons why your property is failing in today's market. Uh, if you could send me the address, uh, drop it in a link or an email or fire it across to me on socials, um, I'll take a look at it and give you uh, my overview from behind my desk. Um, but secondly, uh, there are plenty of factors. I sort of refer to the three Ps, price, presentation and proactivity. Price, did you fall for the highest valuation and the lowest fee? Presentation, does your property look its best at all times? Has the driveway been swept? Are the windows clean? Could its presentation online be any better? Are the beds made? Is the clutter uh, away? And and whilst we all become used to the way that we live in our homes, are you taking that extra hour before viewings to spruce your property up? I promise you that level of attention and detail will improve conversions of viewings to offers. The third P, proactivity. Is your agent cross-selling this property against others? Are they calling out on your property? Are they utilizing social media? Are they carrying out open days? Is there a marketing strategy in place for your property? Or are these agents simply relying on the internet, the likes of Rightmove, Zoopla and On The Market to achieve inquiries? Right, that wraps up this week's update. Fire your questions into me for next week, please. Stay tuned for Sneak Peeks coming to you on Monday. And please remember to like, follow and share this with any of your friends and family that are interested in the local Solihull property market. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.